rehearsals. This might be considered downtime as the African stars usually play to a live audience seven days a week, all year. Asha Baraka is a driving force behind a group that has stood the test of time, but she never takes success for granted. But those sacrifices have now paid off. One of their albums sold out shows even before it hit the shelves. With more than 40 dancers, musicians and technicians, they perform their songs in Swahili with rhythms that can be closely related to Congolese rumba. Asha attributes her success to her passion for the industry and not just a pursuit of money. Kwanza nakabiriwa watu wengine wanaona kwa nini mwanamke. Kuna wengine wanaanzisha bendi zao zinakufa haraka kwa sababu wao wanakwenda sana wana wanabezi sana kwenye biashara. Kwamba lazima wapate pesa. Lakini shughuli hii za muziki kwanza wao mwenyewe jijiengee kwamba mimi nafanya muziki ni kusaidia watu kupata ajira. Many bands in Tanzania have come and gone, but Asha Baraka's African Stars has managed to last for more than 10 years, proving that it takes more than just business sense to keep up with the beat. In the world of piracy and illegal downloads, the African Stars have managed to conquer audiences in East and Central Africa, also touring in Scandinavia, the Oman and the UK. Asha is already expanding in other areas of entertainment and even in politics. She's a national executive committee member of the ruling party CCM. And as for those that do not see investment in the music business as something worthwhile. Nachukulia kwamba wanaozungumza kwamba mziki ni huni ni wao wenyewe kwa fikira zao lakini sisi tunasema mziki unatoa ajira na watu wengi wanaweza kujisaidia kupitia ajira. Tulana Bohela BBC News.